interface expenditures to projects. So just a quick recap. If you recall, after creating the projects, getting it approved, creating the budget, funding, then we started working on transactions. So we have created transactions such as a timesheet, expense reports, a I procurement requisition that we converted to a PO and then we paid it off via an AP invoice. So all the transactions generated invoices in account payables modules. And those invoices are still lying in the account payables modules and those have to be imported onto Oracle projects. In order to do those, we have to run certain programs and those programs have been listed over here. The first one we'll use it is PRC interface cost program and that program is used to import the supplier costs. So if at all you have created a I procurement requisition and then use that requisition to make a new PO and then pay the invoice of that PO in payables, then you run this program. The second one is for importing the expense report data from payables onto project and that program name is PRC interface expense report from payables. The third program is PRC transaction import. So this program is used if at all you have entered time cards, got it approved and paid the cost of those time cards in payables. Again in all these transactions you must have used the project task, expenditure type and expenditure organization. Only then they would be imported from payables to projects. Alright, so let's go into Oracle applications and one by one we'll run these transactions. In fact, to assist you further, I have already run it. So what I'm going to do it is I'm going to simply log in and show you the program with parameter and then we'll simply go through the previously run output of my program. Alright, and then navigate to the responsibility projects, Vision Services USA. And within this one, then navigate to run the request. So we've got it over here. Request and run. Okay. And this is going to open a Java base form. All right. There you go. And choose single request. And here you've got to choose. that program name starting with PRC then here you can type something like supplier okay and this is the program I was referring to PRC interface supplier cost okay and then you have to give your project number over here so at this moment I've got a project number starting with DM and you choose the one that pops up over here okay then optionally you can give the other parameters such as the through GL date for example if you've got many many transactions and you want to import only certain transactions from payables to projects for a specific GL date then you can give it over here the same thing holds good for through transaction date and the other parameters are self-explanatory so go ahead and choose that and I'm gonna leave all the other parameters as default and simply hit the OK button and then submit okay so as I said I've already run this program for testing purposes to make sure it's working or not so instead of submitting I will simply show you the output of that program but for your side you go ahead and submit it alright and once you do that this is what is the output you are going to get so I'm gonna simply go down And what we'll do is we'll simply open a notepad and then I'm gonna paste that program name over here which is PRC interface supplier cost okay and we'll look for that program over here okay there you go so PRC interface supplier cost 
okay so if you look at this output you can see that total number of invoices processed as one so basically there was one invoice associated with the i procurement related purchase order that we paid it in payables module okay hence it has processed one invoice to payables with the associated invoice distributions all right and the second program that you've got to run go back to the presentation slide which is prc interface expense report from payables and as i said this program is going to export the data from payables to project or expense reports okay so i'm going to go back to oracle applications and hit the submit a new request single request then go ahead and type prc percentage expense okay again percentage hit the tab and that's where you will see this program prc interface expense report from payables and here again you've got to choose your project number and then optionally you choose the end gl date or end expenditure item date but in my case i'm going to leave it as it is and run for all the transactions which are there in this project okay so i have already run this and what you go ahead and do it is hit the submit button now okay and what i will do i'll cancel it out and i'm going to show you the output of this program prc interface expense report from payables you can see it is over here prc interface expense report from payables and if you hit the output you will see that one invoice has been processed okay now what happens is once you run this program it also spawns a number of child programs okay so when that happens you can look at those programs to see what's going on for example over here you see the view output and then it will show you the exact program and the exact data associated with that program that has been exported to projects from payables okay so since we ran a number of programs you will have an associated child request you can see that over here okay and as you could see these were the transactions that we created for example this one i believe this is the one we created a i procurement requisition converted it to the po and paid off that po in ap right so the details have been published over here in the child program that got spawned after we ran that main program named prc interface supplier cost now lastly you run this program prc transaction import for exporting the data from payable to project in relation to your time sheet entry okay so i'm going to go back here hit submit a new request single request and then pr c we write transaction percentage and then the last one is the one i was referring to prc transaction import in the transaction source you've got to choose the source as oracle time and labor which is this one okay and that's the module which is behind the time sheet entry it's also called as otl and then you hit the okay button and go ahead and submit it what i will do is i will simply look at the program that i have just run it a little while ago all right and that is over here so i'm going to look at the output and here it's going to show me look it has process this particular transaction and in fact will there could be more of this kind transaction import let me see if there is one or looks like that was the one there is yeah there is no more in any way always make sure that you look at the output and output of the child program that it spawns to see the associated output all right 
So that's about transferring the data from payables onto projects as far as the transactions that got processed in payables in terms of the invoices are concerned. Now the next step is after running these transactions they got exported to projects and in projects these transactions can be costed. So in the next movie I'm going to show you the programs that you've got to run to cost these transactions in project and followed by that we'll generate the revenue and associated project invoice in projects module. So now that we have exported the transactional data from payables onto project, it's time to go and log in onto projects and see whether we can view those expenditures in projects or not. So in order to do that, you can simply go to projects vision services responsibility and within that you navigate to expenditures and expenditure inquiry, then inquire by the project. And within that, there is a query find form will come and here you simply give your project number. So or say something starting with DM401, hit the find button and that's where you will be able to see all the expenses that have been imported from payables. So as you could see, we have performed multiple different kinds of data which include eye procurement, requisition, which we converted to PO and paid it off in AP invoice. Then we also have done intercompany transaction. We have also done transaction in relation to timesheets and expenses. And all those have been imported over here that you could see, right? And if you want to see further details of those items, you can simply go on and hit this item details one. And here you can see more details about it. But at this time, you will not be able to see accounting in relation to this. For example, if you go to cost distribution lines, there will not be any accounting because we have not costed these transactions as yet. So this, the costing side of things, we would be doing that in the next video, which is where I will show you the associated processes that you've got to run for distribution of costs in these transactions that's where it will generate the accounting entries and post those data onto the GL. So I will leave it to you to explore these transactions one by one after going over here. All right, you can possibly see the invoice associated. Okay, so that is for expense reports only. So here this is the expense report and if you want to see the AP invoice you can simply click on the AP invoice side and it's going to open a new form wherein you can just go through the invoice and associated payment so you can see this payment has been made for the invoice if you want to see more information about the invoice an in invoice workbench you can click on to this button and it will show you full details of the invoice as if you are seeing that in payables responsibility Likewise, more information about the payment can be viewed via the payment overview button. There you go and you can see all information about the invoice over here including the information that you have given in relation to the project associated with this invoice. If you scroll on to the lines on the right hand side somewhere you will see the project related information you can see the expenditure date expenditure type okay and then you can also view the distributions pertaining to this invoice over here right here you can see the project and task that we have given while submitting the expense report from oracle time and labor responsibility these fields, all these five fields are related to Oracle project, which is where the AP maps on to the projects. So anyway, this is how you can view for the details right from this window. Likewise, you can view for the details of the associated payment of the invoice that we made um, over here. 
more information again obviously you can see it over here what payment is there what bank is involved more information about the supplier and so on so i leave it to you to explore this likewise other transactional and other details that we have performed can be viewed in this project expenditure inquiry form and in the next movie we'll run the cost distribution programs and then we'll come back here and look at the accounting that got generated and transferred to gm